President Trump's highlighted the radical statements of a group of new Democrats called the Squad, and now a new Jewish organization is responding to them. One America's Jack Posobiec sits down with the founder of the Exodus movement. Very excited to welcome back to One American News, Elizabeth Pipko, the founder of the Exodus Movement. Tell me, what is the Exodus Movement and what is this organization that you've created? Uh, so the Exodus Movement is actually the first organization of its kind. We're focused solely on American Jews and uh, pointing out what matters most to them, as well as educating people on the importance of fighting anti-Semitism, as well as the importance of supporting Israel. And what exactly are you doing in terms of rolling out the organization? How's it going to look uh, in terms of the, the grassroots organization? So we are rolling out our chapter program. Um, last week we announced the first launch of our program. We have 11 different states right now with a few counties in each of those states. Um, we're looking to expand in the next month or two with um, more counties, more states. Um, we're hoping to reach most of the swing states as well as the states with a high Jewish population. So what does each chapter do at the local level? I, mean, I think what's most important is getting the word out. We obviously want to grow our army and have a big enough base so that we can impact future elections, obviously, but we also want to just support people. We know there are people on campuses, there are people in different states, cities that are facing anti-Semitism in their everyday lives, and just to know that they have a support system is what's most important. Now, is this a partisan organization? Are you only focused on Republicans or Democrats, or where, where do you stand on that? I think what's most important to me especially, like I said, is educating people on the importance of supporting Israel as well as fighting anti-Semitism literally anywhere that it appears. Okay, so you wouldn't be adverse to, say, working with someone who happened to be a Democrat if they were right on that issue? Definitely not. The reason I bring that up is because we've seen from the Democrat Party this new organization, they call themselves the Squad, they did a big press conference yesterday, uh, where they've been saying some very radical things, and prior to that they've said some very radical things about Israel as well. W what's your take on that, and what would, would the Exodus movement say back to them? Um, I think what's most unfortunate is that we know, like I said, there's anti-Semitism on the left and the right, but there's a serious amount of anti-Zionism coming specifically from the left, um, which is really, to me, just another form of anti-Semitism. And the fact that they don't want to call it out because of their political agenda, but that they're putting Jewish lives, American lives at stake for a political agenda, that's what matters to me the most, and that's what I think is most devastating. Well, why is it that they're doing that? Why target Zionism as a way to... Uh, sort of hide the anti-Semitism. When I grew up supporting Israel and knowing that America and Israel had a close bond was just normal and all of a sudden supporting Israel is controversial. I don't understand why. I don't understand where it's come from. I'm glad that this current president and administration has tried to fight that. Do you think that they're actually gaining any traction anywhere in the, in the U.S. with uh, younger people or campuses, things like that? Um, I hope not, but as I talk to anyone across the United States, especially on college campuses, I know that as a Jew, as a conservative, as anyone that just supports Israel, they face a lot of hate in their everyday lives and I think it's super unfortunate that they're contributing to that. What would you say to, you know, either AOC or Ilhan Omar if you had the opportunity to sit down with them? Um, honestly, I'd say go to Israel. Go to Israel, look around, look at how you're welcome, look at how they treat anyone from any community, any sexual orientation, any race, and understand that Israel is our friend and our ally. Yeah. Where can people go to find more information? Um, TheExodusMovement.com. Elizabeth Pico, always a pleasure. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.